putting what you're calling the alt-left and white supremacists on the same moral plane? I'm not putting anybody on a moral plane. What I'm saying is this. You had a group on one side and you had a group on the other, and they came at each other with clubs, and it was vicious, and it was horrible, and it was a horrible thing to watch. But there is another side. There was a group on this side, you can call them the left, or you've just called them the left, that came violently attacking the other group. So you can say what you want, but that's the way it is. On both sides, sir, you said there was hatred, there was violence on both sides. Are, are well, I do think there's blame, yes. I think there's blame on both sides. You look at, you look at both sides. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. And, and, and if you reported it accurately, you would say. Kill the person. Heather Heyer They showed up in Charlottesville. They showed up in Charlottesville. Excuse me. To protest. Excuse me. They didn't put themselves down as you. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group. Excuse me. Excuse me. I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name. George Washington was a slave owner. Was George Washington a slave owner? So will George Washington now lose his status? Are we going to take down, excuse me, are we going to take down, are we going to take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You like him? Okay, good. Are we going to take down the statue? Because he was a major slave owner. Now, are we going to take down his statue? So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history. You're changing culture. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. Now, in the other group also, you had some fine people, but you also had troublemakers, and you see them come with the, with the black outfits, and with the helmets, and with the baseball bats. You, got a, you, had a lot of bad, you had a lot of bad people in the other group, too. Who was treated unfairly, sir? I'm sorry, I just didn't understand what you were saying. You were saying the press has treated white nationalists unfairly? No, I just didn't understand what you were saying. No. There were people in that rally, and I looked the night before. If you look, there were people protesting very quietly the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. I'm sure in that group there were some bad ones. The following day it looked like they had some rough, bad people. Neo-Nazis, uh, white nationalists, whatever you want to call them. But you had a lot of people in that group that were there to innocently protest and very legally protest because, you know, I don't know if you know, they had a permit. The other group didn't have a permit. So I only tell you this, there are two sides to a story. I thought what took place was a horrible moment for our country, a horrible moment. But there are two sides to the country. Does anybody have a final? Does anybody have, you have an infrastructure. What makes you think you can get an infrastructure bill? You didn't get health care. Well, you know, I'll tell you, more. we came very close with health care. Unfortunately, John McCain decided to vote against it at the last minute. You'll have to ask John McCain why he did that. But we came very close to health care. We will end up getting health care, uh, but we'll get the infrastructure. And actually, infrastructure is something that I think we'll have bipartisan support on. I actually think, I actually think Democrats will go along with the infrastructure. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.